Hi, thanks for tuning in. I recently created a video where I compared prices at four different thrift stores. And while I was doing the research, I discovered some really, how shall I say, awful donations for sale. So with that, let's take a look at some of them. What says I care more than a gift of a petrified, make that preserved in the USA, real rose and possibly the corpse of a butterfly who gave his life for this masterpiece. At least he's resting in peace on what looks like some finely crafted machine made lace. And the great thing about this exquisite work of art is that it will last for years and years and years, possibly a lifetime or through a nuclear war like a cockroach. And all for the low, low price of just $9.99. When it comes to original, never before heard inspirational quotes written in an unreadable font, look no further than a glass brick. If it has a black heart, it's true. If it has a second black heart, that cancels out the first one. And if it has a blue butterfly, someone was trying to fill empty space. Wrap the brick in a white bow to give it credibility. Yes, chaos, ka, or is that cough? Coo, words to live by, or is that chaos, by? I do not coo this brick. Hmm, I'm not sure if this is Santa or a garden gnome of some kind, but one thing is for sure. This guy's got back, I cannot lie. Big and flat can hold a rat. Large and wide can carry a bride. Huge and ample can display a sample. Okay, not sure what's more cringy, my rhyming or this thing. Let's pretend both never happened. The only celebrating I do with this wine glass is when I accidentally drop it. But really, I can't understand how someone could give this away. Seriously, how could you? Your father chose to leave you alone in his dad's of divorce one-bedroom apartment during his custody weekend while he worked late with his new 20-something secretary. Hey, Mom, can we drop by the thrift store donation center on the way home? Ah, oh, what a wonderful gift for newlyweds. May they toast their wedded bliss and the start of a beautiful life as a family. Wait, what? Some materials used in this wine glass may contain chemicals known to cause cancer, birth defects, and other reproductive harm. And nine months later, Rosemary gives birth. Oh, my aching head. I shouldn't have had that seventh martini last night. I need some tea. Ack, who put a mirror on the teapot? Hmm, looks like those fruity pebbles are missing something. Grow where you were planted. What a lovely sentiment for someone planted six feet under. How many times have you cut off your finger slicing meat or vegetables or bread or more? Uh, vegetables. That might explain the blood stain on this serving bowl. How do you peel a magic? And does anyone know what a clip is when it comes to peeled food? Let me know in the comments, please. The only thing giving this cred is the as similar to seen on TV. Never mind. Hey guys, to add an as seen on TV graphic to your package, all you have to do is this. Peel a magic, more like feel the tragic. Replace the P in pasta with a V in vegetable and you've got this gizmo called a Vasta. Replace the pasta in your family's favorite dishes with zucchini and you've got a Vasta disappointment for supper. You are the pumpkin to my spice. What kind of left-handed compliment is that? Are you calling me a fat orange squash? Or worse, you think you're spicy and all that? Get over yourself, peppercorn. Hmm, what have we here? I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a sunflower, but what it ended up looking like is if a blood-curdling scream were a bowl, this would be it. Yes, a blood-curdling scream of a bowl. If you want to make everyone super jealous of your vacation destination, be sure to bring home a souvenir with the name on it, so you can remember it as well. For those who think Christmas and Valentine's Day are too close together to undecorate, we bring you the Christmas time tree. Now you have permission to keep the tree up too long. You're welcome, and we wish you a Merry Valentine and a Happy New Easter. How did my granddaughter, my joy, end up at a donation center? She couldn't wait till I was dead to start collecting her inheritance. I caught her red-handed going through my wallet. That's how. She's out of the will. Don't lose your head over this body of Marilyn Monroe. It's supposed to be like that. You just simply put a picture of your favorite beauty on it. Happy birthday, Rista Resident! Ladies and gentlemen, we present a crusty cock. And him. You may want to get some ointment for that. Ah yes, nothing says nature at its finest than a digital timestamp in the corner of a picture. 
But really, you can't blame the photographer. No one knew how to turn them off in the 80s. Damn you, Sony. Sorry you couldn't come to Hawaii with us. Hope this classy souvenir makes up for it. Wow, I think she likes you. Aw, oh, you can't put a price on a child's expression of love for you. Oh wait, yes you can, and that price is $2.99. The designer was inspired by a cow's stomach lining. We call it tripe on a hanger. Who are you calling cow butt? Oh wait, it's me, isn't it? They say the designer was inspired a couple hours after she had poutine for lunch. And then the girl guide leader ripped the sewing badge off Kayla's uniform and flushed it down the toilet. Then she flushed a shirt. Then she flushed Kayla. Ah! This floral shirt is missing something. Oh right, color. So that's where the bath mat went. Or the dog shredded another roll of toilet paper and you made it into a shirt. How resourceful. Poor Beverly thought her new shirt would give her superpowers against the class bully. The good news is all her classmates signed her body cast, including the bully. This little number screams Vegas showgirl in training. Good luck soaring in this number. Those sequins are going to keep you planted firmly on the ground. The red stains are blood from when she accidentally bumped into people on the bus. This interesting number looks to be sending a Morris coded message. I think it says send more sequins and vacuum up the ones that fell off before the cat eats them. When thinking wearing this will make you the brightest person in the room because you're just not the smartest banana in the bunch. A fine herringbone pattern on this shirt guarantees you'll ruin every picture you're in. That's one way to keep the paparazzi at bay. The 70s laid back stoner look never goes out of style. It just ends up in a thrift store. Hmm, does your wife know you raided her closet again? When you can't wear a computer screen, try this over-pixelated number. Finally, a dressing in the dark shirt. If someone tells you it's on Inside Out, you can embarrass the hell out of them by telling them it's supposed to be that way. Ha! Hmm, pineapple on mushrooms. Is this a shirt or a pizza? Can't say we're a big fan of what the designer of this mess called when the it hits the fan. Doesn't everyone need an artificial cannabis plant? Ah, I see what you've done there, thrift store. You've thrown together two mismatched pieces of a cookie jar and are trying to pass it off as one. Oh, good God, no. It's supposed to look like that. A heart full of blood clots with a wick. Call 911 stat. Throw these watercolor paint night rejects into the dishwasher's rinse cycle and they'll be good as new. The artist of this piece called it Seed of Life. We don't get it. Oh, wait. Come to think of it. This giant hand seems to be summing up the donations in the store with an OK sign. We say it's overestimating what we've seen. Oh geez, look at the time. It's five after ugly and we've got to run away from this thrift store. Okay, so that's it for awful thrift store donations. If you've seen some awful stuff in thrift store, share your experience in the comments. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll try to create a part two. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications button so you know when I've posted something new. Until next time, that's it. That's the deal with awful thrift store donations. Thanks for watching.